I grew up in a small farm town outside of Green Bay, Wisconsin. I ran into problems uh, when I was starting actually in grade school. I had some lower back issues. I had legs that ached at nighttime where you're hard to, it's hard to fall asleep through high school and then into college. I'm finding that at one point in time um, I had disc problems that were so bad that one day when I was at work I was bending over to get a uh, file from the cabinet and I sneezed and my back went out and I collapsed to the floor and uh, that's when everything started. One of the various doctors that I saw uh, said we need to do some fusions. I was very hesitant about that and so I just progressed with taking some pain medication from time to time. Uh, missed some work. Later in my life, probably 25 years ago, and I was at work and one of my coworkers said to me, hey Gary, um, are you feeling okay in your neck? And I said, why? He said, well, your head's falling forward. And then ended up coming to St. Joe's and uh, Barrow's and spoke with Dr. Dickman. And I ended up getting uh, surgery on my neck, the cervical six and seven. I sidetracked the other parts of my body. Uh, I was on Vicodin for probably 15 years. So I started curving over. I went from six foot curved over to five foot three. So I came back to see Dr. Carl again, and he took a look at me and he says, this could be a tough challenge for me. But I said, well, on a scale of one to 10, what do you think? He said, well, I'll give it maybe a 12. Uh, Gary's uh, case is uh, pretty complex. Uh, he actually had uh, scoliosis in his lumbar spine. Uh, at the same time, he also had something called kyphosis, which is uh, severe hunching of his thoracic spine. We had to address both problems uh, at the same time to achieve a meaningful result for him. Uh, so it, it required a very complex surgery that took uh, approximately about 12 hours. You know, once we were performing uh, the surgery, it was quite clear that the amount of uh, uh, deformity that he has uh, was not a flexible deformity. That means the spine was not flexible, and we had to do several aggressive uh, uh, osteotomies, which basically means a resection of bone. Uh, to loosen the spine uh, itself adequately. Anytime uh, we talk about scoliosis surgery, uh, recovery is usually extensive. Uh, so for Gary, this was no exception. Uh, it really took him two to three months to get over the initial part of the recovery itself. And uh, he did go for physical therapy and rehabilitation uh, after the two to three months. And this resulted in uh, him uh, improving on his pain significantly and his quality of life uh, uh, has significantly improved. The way we measure success in this type of scoliosis surgeries are uh, number one, uh, the amount of uh, pain relief that the patient get from surgery and also uh, how their quality of life has improved compared to prior from surgery. It changed my life. And I went up to, uh, Dr. Carlos successfully took me to 5.9 five uh, in height. And in today's life right now, um, I'm walking really great. I go to the health club. I walk two miles on the treadmill. And I go uh, play with my grandchildren. I do not take any pain medication. But I'm more pleased than I could ever be for what Barrows and the doctors that worked on me, especially Dr. Carla, to straighten me out, get rid of the garbage. They made me a new man, and uh, I'm just happier than a pistol.